My dear friends in Christ, first, I'd like to welcome you all to this year's Fatima Conference. And I cannot think of a better way to begin this year's conference than with the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass, especially recalling the theme and title that we have given to this year's conference. Behold thy mother. This verse taken from St. John's 19th chapter of his gospel, the 27th verse. When meditating upon it, we must take ourselves to that hilltop called Calvary. And our Lord, having but all given up his spirit, gives to us a most amazing gift. His mother to be our mother. Ece Mater Tua. In thinking of this title, I started to think of the word behold. In doing a brief study on the word and the etymology, we can take it all the way back to the Greek, which means contemplation. But the word that more closely is associated with it is taken from the West Saxon, the word being beheld in, means give regard to, to keep hold of, to belong to. In scripture, we can find this word, behold, used about 1,300 times, 1,298 to be exact. The first time we find it used is in Genesis, where God is talking to Adam and Eve and says, Behold, I have given you every herb and every fruit that it may be your meat. The first time in the New Testament we find in the Gospel of St. Matthew, where an angel comes down and visits Joseph in his dream. It says, Behold, the angel of the Lord came to Joseph and told Joseph, Fear not to take unto thee Mary thy wife. Now, as for the term mother, I couldn't help but think of those invocations we make, usually after the rosary, when we pray the litany of Loretto, the litany of our Blessed Mother, Holy Mother of God, Mother of Divine Grace, Mother Most Pure, Mother Most Chaste. And as we could contemplate on all these titles for quite a long time, I would like to just highlight a few. Mother of Divine Grace, Mater Divina Grazie. I was reading a meditation on our Blessed Mother and this title, Mother of Divine Grace. And the bishop who wrote it, I don't recall his name at this time, but he was saying, 
Yes, she is the mother of divine grace. Christ, who is divine grace. But he also said, she is mother of divine grace. We can go to her as our mother to receive this divine gift. Pope Pius XII, in his encyclical, Mystici Corporis, says, and I quote, She, Mary, she it was who, immune from all sin, personal or inherited, and ever most closely united with her son, offered him on Golgotha to the Eternal Father, together with the holocaust of her maternal rights and motherly love. Like a new Eve for all the children of Adam, contaminated through his unhappy fall, And thus, she, who was the mother of of our head, according to the flesh, became, by a new title of sorrow and glory, the spiritual mother of all his members. She is the mother of divine grace. She is the mother of him, and she is the mother of of all the members of his mystical body. The other title that I would like to highlight from the litany would be Mother Good Counsel. Mater Boni Concilii. Pope Leo XIII put this title into the litany on April 22nd, 1903. I would like to read a short quote from this book of Mary's titles by Monsignor Dodward. where he says, For who among men is he that can know the counsel of God? Or who can think what the will of God is? If anyone knows God's will, it is the mother of God. She is so close to God that she can know for sure what the will of God is. This is why we call her Mother of Good Counsel. My dear friends, when we read in Scripture, or we're reminded of those words of our Lord to John, and through the ages to us, behold your mother. It is not just to look upon her. Behold, give regard to, contemplate her message and warnings. Her message of Fatima, her message from Lourdes, her her message from La Salette. Keep hold of her true devotion to Jesus through Mary. Belong to her. Pray your rosary every day. Wear your scapular faithfully. Remember what St. Dominic said? One day, through the rosary and the scapular, the world will be saved. As we start off this Fatima conference, And no doubt, here, wonderful conferences and thoughts. Let us be sure 
to invest the time, effort, and energy that we need to in order to renew and to perfect our devotion to our Blessed Mother. Let us behold our Mother. And from this conference, as we read of in Scripture, let us take her, as St. John took her into his home, let us take her back to our home and share her with all we come in contact with. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen.